Matami Center and I invite a special person to my heart and to the team who's been with us for a while. Mark, where did you graduate last time? Hi, Merrick. Uh, 2007, radio and television. I'm Mark Rowe. Uh, I played four years for the Ryerson University volleyball team as a setter. Uh, I was captain my final year, assistant captain for the first three years. I uh, had a great time and learned a lot from the guy behind the camera. Um, I will start actually in a couple of weeks as a host for the NHL Network. I spent the last four years as the sports director for CTV News in Barrie. Amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. All right, we're going to get inside the building. I hope you are excited. Uh, absolutely. All right. The outhouse to the penthouse. Let's do it. Thin vibes, vibes, vibes. There you go. We are in the place which is I really enjoy and I love it, I would say, in the last couple of days. Uh, well, the alumni team is coming to win, first <laughs> off, so we, uh, we finally won last year and Roger's done a really good job organizing things, so it's always great to sort of uh, see the guys that you played with and you were a family with for four or five years and to see the new generation of Rams and um, you know, any knowledge that we can pass on, I guess we're the old guys now, uh, it's certainly uh, you know, a benefit to the program. Great. So, Mark, we are in the third level. I hope and I, I am pretty confident in the best CIS ring in yeah. the present time. Any thoughts, any feelings? Uh, first word honestly comes as wow, uh, that this is uh, what Ryerson will be playing in. Uh, I've been in a lot of arenas with my jobs, whether it's NHL or OHL rinks. Uh, I put this up with any OHL arena in the league. So, uh, you know, certainly it'd be lucky. Uh, hopefully, a nice facility equals more wind. There you go. And the man of the day. <laughs> Mark, like, so. Like I said, now I'm really upset with you seeing this. Why is that? Man? I think I can speak on behalf of every former player that this is a uh, hundred times better than anything that we ever had. And, um, you know, this is a real nice place for the team to come together and be with each other. And, um, and it screams professional. And that's how two players are going to be treated. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. Mark, can you wrap it up, your trip, VIP trip in the Matami Center? Please? I know, I didn't realize I was VIP, but uh, I was treated like one today. Uh, an unbelievable uh, experience just to see where this, this school and where the athletic program has gone in a, a short amount of period. I remember as a high school kid coming on campus and um, you know meeting you for the first time, Eric, and seeing the program and you know, certainly I wasn't sold on the facilities. I was sold on, on the volleyball program, the academic program, and now what I see in, in 2012, a facility that, you know, you don't need to say anything about because it's spectacular. And it's something that uh, I think every player who's going to the university would want to play in. Anything you would like to add from the recruiting point for the future Rams? I know you are on the other side, one of the greatest alumni this program produces. Uh, well, you know, you have a, certainly a, a lovely home here and you're going to be with a lot of athletes and it's going to be a great experience. Um, you know, Ryerson is going to give you endless opportunities, whether it's on the academic side or the athletic side, and especially now the athletic side with what you have here with the facility. Um, you know, I've had a pretty good post-graduation experience and a lot of that is because of Ryerson, um, but a lot of it comes from what you you want to do and this school gives you that opportunity and um, you know you I'm just one of many great stories that have come out of this school this um, athletic program and specifically this team and um, you know whether you want to say it's because of um, the coaching staff or the school itself it, it's you know really it's a combination of everything and um, you know I'll always be grateful for it thank you I couldn't say better <laughs> <laughs> very much. It's uh, day four of training camp here in Poland and uh, as you can see it's a beautiful day. We've overcome some, uh, some harsh weather in the first three days. A little bit of rain, a little bit of maybe even snow, uh, but you know what? We've gotten through it. Uh, adversity is what this team's all about. Uh, Matt Fugard doesn't know any Polish but he's trying to pick up the receptionist so we <laughs> like that. Uh, Orange has received about 75 complaints about Poland but you know what? We're all in good spirits. About to uh, have our first practice of the day, one of three, 
and uh, we're ready to go. In human nature, we have uh, optimistics and as yeah. you remember. We're gonna After graduation, I will be weighing my options in Europe. After which, when I get zero, <laughs> I'll probably just become the world's greatest broadcaster, make a lot of dollars. Down in the depths of my soul, feeling the loss of control and in the spirit, so colorful. If you 